okay so now that we have our youtube results displayed in this particular format our new target is to get this into a grid layout and as i have told you we will be using the isotope module to do that okay um, let me just quickly again show that so that you get an idea so this is our isotope javascript plugin which we will be using um npm install right and while it is doing its bit we'll just close this go to php storm and let's see the layout will be controlled inside video group right so in here we will be doing all the required stuff import okay and i think um the module name is isotope layout so mm, okay yeah so this is done now how are we going to use this basically if we quickly go and look at the javascript uh, implementation we need to select our element okay we create a variable where isotope equals new isotope we pass the element and then we pass some configuration pretty simple right so let's do that um, <clears throat> so we need an isotope element so inside data we'll have isotope which initially will be null okay and what else um, create our created method and in here let's just say we have a function called this dot relayout okay the grid this is going to be a function which will be called every time we feel there is a need to redraw the isotope or even to initialize the isotope sorry the reason is right now we only um, initialize the isotope once but when the videos change or when the search result comes if you know um, the user types something and hits enter the layout will change right and at that point we need to redraw the grid and that's why we will be calling this function again and again okay so what do we do here we say where element equals document dot get so query selector um we'll name it grid okay we'll do that this dot isotope right so this dot isotope equals new isotope. pass the element configurations uh item selector So the item selector is basically the class for each um, video item and if you see we have such a class here right so we can use that so item selector is done and then we will have uh, what's that layout mode I think layout mode will be masonry okay and I think there will be a problem, a slight problem. Uh, we need to give this a grid class. So why don't I mention that here? Uh, 
let's see what's happening bad element for isotope null so the element is not coming up yes so what hap i think what, what happens is uh, it requires some kind of a promise to get that element or maybe you know the initially the components are not getting rendered from view and that is the reason what i have done is I did a site set timeout. I think many users faced the similar problem and I found this solution. You can just keep it at one and I, it typically works. I think that now it should. Oh, no, still not working, right? Huh. So, bad element for isotope null, which means let me see if I'm able to get. um what is the problem so this is coming up element is dot grid let me see the markup uh grid is here that's really strange because it should have one or oh no no the grid is repeating that will that will not work yeah so we can take this i think okay no and there's a problem here oh because there are two classes my bad now it says there's no such layout mode Hmm. So we have this, but we still don't have the layout properly done, right? Have we? Uh, why is that happening? It should ideally take up that space, right? Let's quickly debug and see what is happening with this 18 rem this is in the card yeah there's no problem in here let's quickly see what is happening i think these cards have a lot of width to it because this is 18 rem in the default bootstrap markup so what if i this is card yeah i think in here if i add a row class it should work it will give it a fixed width and yes so we have you know this thing in place so this is this still needs to calculate i think what is happening is you know the image loads later on and um, that calculation then goes for a toss there is a way to fix that as well uh, but first let us do one small thing which is we will add a little bit of css okay and So we have card and that will have some margin. We'll fix the card image tops max height. Okay. So that the images are coming in a same in a, in a fixed order but initially let's just show you know, show you let me show you that you know, 
the layout actually works properly it's just that the images are taking time which you know uh, creates a problem okay so this this is how it will look and if we remove the images sorry if we now include the images okay hmm, that's strange it should have ideally touched this part i think something is wrong in here okay we will we will look into that um all right so now clearly here is a disconnect in what we are doing because um you know this should stick right so first of all let's see uh, is it the console oh yes yeah ah uh, that was the reason uh the, if we keep it open i think it uh, is not able to calculate the height properly anyways so this is working fine with with whatever we have done the only thing is if you see this overlap this is happening because the images are getting loaded later on so i think you know something which i was trying here right now with you know uh, previously uh, which is if i empty the image url right this comes properly there is no overlap or rather if i even comment this out the cards are properly stacked it's only that the images take a bit of a time to load and that's the reason um, the calculation ideally needs to happen after the images are loaded okay and uh, <clears throat> so the question is how do we do that because you know there are quite a few images i mean i think we are loading 10 and so we need to keep a track of 10 images so there's a way to do that which is there's a directive called view image loaded okay let me quickly show you okay yeah this is a directive to detect when images have been loaded i think this pretty much will do what we want our you know events to ha you know, tackle um so inside the wrapper it, uh, wherever we are doing a v4 we push this directive and we can handle in this function right so we'll do that why don't we just copy this sorry and we'll save that as well and no let us wait a bit okay so once this is done we will need to add it here because this is the container okay now it is a directive so inside this object you just add this and then what we can do is um, in the markup here where is our v4 this is right we can do it here where is it um the image is loaded it's not bound that's a bit strange it is going to give me the same error here uh, Hmm. let us first create this method let's see is it still complaining about it or is this an interim thing recently my php storm takes a bit of time to 
adjust to the code save it does a build so I'm assuming it is working properly we will get certain um, parameters two parameters as far as I remember callback instance and image yes so let us add these parameters console.log okay so instance it is doing everything has image broken false and all those stuff an image also is loaded is true um, okay so what I need to do is I just need to check whether all the images are loaded or not do I get that same problem if my pane is on the left hand side right hand side let me see if not maybe then we will do that okay it still doesn't do that why is this a problem I don't understand Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not working. Anyways, um, I think once we do this, you know, it it will recalculate. So th that time it might work. Just work. Okay. Um. So what I'll do is. So as I was saying. You know we need to wait for all the images to load okay and once this is done all the images are ready we will fire this event okay <clears throat> so we will remove it from this created event and we will do it here so I'll add a counter because we need um, a way to keep a track you know of all the images so this dot counter plus plus every time it is coming on this function it will increment the counter okay. and it should remember it so this is done and so I'm starting from zero so I'm assuming it will be you know same as the length of the now videos which we are passing as props right here <clears throat> from the dashboard so when those two um, values match only then should we relay out the grid okay as simple as that we are not using these parameters but let us keep it right now so yeah so now you can see that the re layouting thing did work All right so i'll just show you again if we are here um, okay it is coming with the gap and then quickly it snaps back okay all right so that's about it for this video where we implemented isotope to get this nice masonry plugin i think we need add a little bit of bottom margin as well so that you know they don't stick like this you know simple enough uh, quickly add that so that um, so this is top this and then five you know rather I could do no leave it like that okay so yeah they don't stick now so this is our layout which is ready um, in the next video we will you know, quickly add our code base to github and um, you know start making commits for each lesson so that you know each and every one of you can refer to them thanks for watching guys if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel